Hey, welcome back to Techopolis 3, where in the last video, we completed the teleporting tree and progressed far enough down the dimensional ores tree to get this dimensional infuser, which has now let us get quite a lot of gold and unlocks a lot more things to do. Gold was quite a limiting factor for uh, a lot of things. But even though I have access to gold now, which can help with a lot of problems, there is one other thing that I am a little sidetracked by. Well, hmm. sidetracked is a bit of a misleading term because this is still a very useful endeavor. This dimensional ore extractor is not very far away. I'm gonna have to do it either way because I need to automate dimensional ore for the Elite Technium, but this can automate most ores. Dimensional ores are a bit more annoying to deal with because you have to deal with chemical dissolution chambers and all of this faff. But this is a very easy way to automate any ore in the game. Most notably, diamond ore. <laughs> and compared to what it takes for diamonds now, dimensional ores are much easier. And once I've set up the system for diamonds, I can do it for anything else that I might need. Maybe I need emeralds later, maybe I need better forms of lapis, maybe I need more redstone, who knows? It'll just be much easier to automate with the dimensional laws. So that's the plan for this video. I want to get at least one of these, probably more. But I, at the very least, need to set this up for diamond. So that's all I really have planned for this video. If I've got spare time, just finish this tree, I guess. Anyway, to get started, it is telling me I need to get blank stone ore, because that's how you're supposed to get ores. Because again, this has been designed to be done in Skyblock. But I can just go mine the ores. There is a little bit of a problem with diamond though, in that it requires regular diamond ore, and not deep slate diamond ore, which is a hell of a lot more common. But if I compress it, I can turn the deep slate ore into regular diamond ore. So if it wasn't for that, I would not be considering this yet. But I still want to get the dimensional ore extractor first because I'm going to have to do this a difficult way anyway. So I guess I'm back to melting charcoal for diamonds. <laughs> it still takes a while to get all of the coal, but after the melting step, it gets a lot quicker now because I've finally managed to upgrade all of these machines. So I can start producing a small amount of diamonds and these will hopefully be the last diamonds I have to do this way. So I guess before I make the dimensional ore extractor, I should complete the quests prior, but they're not very hard. Compressed stone makes blank stone ore, and 32 coal ore makes dimensional coal ore, and I already have a ton of coal ore. So onto the dimensional ore extractor, and I guess I can start with that teleportation core. I'm gonna need to make some atomic alloy anyway, so I can get started with that. And in the meantime, I can let the calculation circuits run through. I'm also going to need a bit of gold, so I can set that going too. And hmm, just to avoid wasting too many diamonds, how many am I going to need? Uh, I think more than I currently have. Because <laughs> I need, uh, what, 10 atomic alloy across this whole thing? Uh, and I don't have much spare refined obsidian, so I'm going to have to make some more of that at least four, I'll go from there. And then not to mention the diamond spent getting the reinforced alloy for the base. And that's just the one source of diamonds. So I'm gonna get some more. In the meantime, there's still some other things I can make, like the atomic disassemblers. And then once the calculation processes are, get, are done, I can make some teleportation cores. How many do I need? I think three, but only one of them goes in the crusher. The rest go towards making atomic circuits, or ultimate circuits rather. Then once the diamonds are done, I can make a gear and grab some obsidian glow to get the dimensional machine frame to finish the dimensional ore extractor. And that's just for the control block. I still need so much more other stuff. I've got some spare reinforced machine casing. That's fine, but I still need plenty more. I think three teleportation cores worth. I think I just need one more diamond. 
And I should have enough spare stuff to make the teleportation cores. And I'm gonna have to crush all of them. I think I need 10 dust. So then 10 obsidian glow as well. And then last I just need a lot of wooden scaffolding. And that should be enough. I guess while I wait I can get the quartz glass. Oh, but I feel like that's gonna be very expensive. <laughs> yeah. I can get Soda's Quartz, but it's gonna take a while. And I've had to take out some of the speed upgrades because otherwise I just burn through the hydrogen and oxygen way too quickly. And I know that water is effectively free, so I don't really have to worry about wasting it too much. But just the constant switching back and forth is really annoying. But eventually I can get enough Soda's Quartz dust to make all the quartz glass I need. And so, that should be everything I need for the Dimensional Ore Extractor. And I think I'm gonna set it up here with the rest of the miners, because it's doing more or less the same thing. There is the small problem that this inventory cable is in the way, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. I guess I could just move the cable out of the way, and that solves the problem for now. But if I ever end up expanding further that way, I'm gonna have to deal with this. But that's a problem for future me to solve. For now, I'm just going to build this up here. Oh, right, and it needs power. Hmm. How does that get cabled through? I guess future me's problem has become current me's problem. For now, I can just kind of awkwardly cable this through walls. It's far enough back that I might not have to worry about fixing this, per se. So I can get the power in. Oof, and it is very slow at producing. If I put an advanced technium in there, probably quicker. Call takes 800 ticks. The advanced technium machine frame would take it to 480, which is better. And it's the same for diamond. Actually, I think it's the same for everything. Oh, but different ores consume different amounts of power. Hmm. I have upgraded my power generation. But I can't afford to run more than one of these right now. Well, I'll let this go on coal for now, because I still need dimensional ores for other things. And in the meantime, I might go try and get that diamond ore. I'll just make myself a spare hammer, and I've got plenty of torches, so let's see how this goes. Immediately off to a bit of a rocky start, there are no deep caves connected to this ravine. I'll just need to find another cave. Here we go. I'm just gonna run around this large area, hoping to find some diamonds. And it's much easier to explore here when I'm not worried about trying to mine everything, and I also don't have to worry about mobs creeping up behind me. Ooh, redstone. This is one of the ores I've been looking out for. I need 24 of it to get the dimensional ore. Ah, finally, diamonds. Is it a lot? No. Ooh, but there's some more pretty close. Uh, still only had three in it though. Oh, could this be it? Yes. Nine deep slate diamond. That's all I need. I'm gonna keep going to try and find some more redstone. And if I find more diamonds along the way, I'll take it. Ooh, and I think... Oh, is that enough? I don't think it's quite enough. I do only need 24, but I need to be able to compress it to convert it. I don't know if I can find three more, but maybe... Ooh, yes. Oh, and more diamonds too. Well, I've pretty much run out of torches, so I'm gonna make my way back. Well, I'd call that a very successful exploration. I got exactly what I was looking for, and even more. And I didn't even need my spare hammer. However, redstone seems like it works. I can get that dimensional ore, but the diamond doesn't seem to want to cooperate. The crafting table's not any better. What if... No. I don't know what to do about this. You know what? I think I just switch it out this way. As long as I keep the quantities the same as if the trick had worked, I don't really think that's cheating. And at the same time, this really should work with Deep Slate too. So I've got two angles here to justify this. If it's too egregious, then I can revert this. And I guess just struggle through doing it this way, but I think I'm within my right to do that. I'll leave the comments to be the jury on that. But now, I can swap out the ore in here and start generating diamonds. 
Now I just need to continue this to be able to use them. And it seems like the crux of this is the chemical dissolution chamber. Because this with sulfuric acid makes a dirty slurry, then goes through the chemical washer to get a clean slurry, to then crystallize, chemically inject, purify, and then crush into diamond dust. Which I can just enrich into normal diamonds. So I've got uh, quite a lot more machines to make then. Starting with uh, the chemical dissolution chamber. Are all of these gonna need a dimensional machine frame? No. But they all need their own stuff. Fluorite? Um... Hmm. I might need to do a lot more of this. It doesn't seem too far down the line? Sure. I can do this. It is gonna take a bit of work though. Starting with this thermal evaporation chamber. Thankfully I've got some spare reinforced machine casings, so I can get these thermal evaporation blocks reasonably easily. I just need to get some more steel. Then with enough of them, I can make the control block. And how big does this need to be? I guess for the sake of manual crafting, it's not that big of a deal. But I kind of want two of these. Because hot water is really difficult to make without one. So I might need a decent amount of these. I should fairly easily have enough for the two controllers. And then I can also make two valves so that I can do this automatically. Oh, I might need some more valves though. Yeah, I'm gonna need at least four. Actually, three might work. I'll see what I can do. I definitely need more thermal evaporation blocks though, but I, I don't have enough reinforced machine casings. So I'll just make a few more of those. And I'm not sure how many of them I'll need to convert. I think I'll just stick to the 18 and make more if I need to. Right. Well, now comes the question of where to build this. Is it worth me building it over here? So that I can have all the ore processing in one place? Possibly. First, I just need to see if this even works underground. I think this is the multi-block? Oh, I think three is the minimum height. I'm not sure why it says it needs three valves. I don't see it needing any more than two. Well, I guess I just need to make it higher. And I think I can ignore the corners. Yeah, there we go. I think this works. Uh, maybe not though. Hmm. Is it any better if I build it outside? Marginally. I somehow need to get it to 26.85. Then it'll work. Maybe I need to give it heat. That could help. I'll move it back inside where the power is. And I'm guessing I connect it like that. Why is it starting at such crazy negative temperatures? I mean, it's building. It's not being passed on. Maybe I need heat transferring pipes? I don't know how it connects. Ah, it goes into a valve. And then it works. This must be the point of the third valve. But it doesn't seem to want to connect for some reason. Oh, because I think this broke? I'm guessing I might not be allowed to put a valve in a corner? Okay, I can work around that. So now I'm producing hot water, but I'm gonna need a second thermal evaporation controller to turn this hot water into brine. Um, I don't think it liked me doing that. Are they not able to share multi-block walls? I don't know. I need more things anyway. <laughs> and of course, I'm out of reinforced machine casings. One more teleportation core shouldn't hurt. I've made plenty of them already. And I may as well turn the whole thing into reinforced machine cases. Because I have a suspicion I'm gonna need it. So then eventually I can have enough machine frames to barely not quite make that. Now I can. Uh, but as expected, I can't share walls. Uh, okay. Are they not even allowed to be touching? No, they're not. Can I just... Yep, I can just do that. I'm not always going in. But I'm not getting enough heat? I guess not. I guess I can just make another heater. And then finally, I'm getting brine. And please tell me I can just bucket this in. Yes. Okay, so there's fluorite that I can hopefully use to make these machines. But I have just had one thought. I don't know how to get this sulfuric acid. I can just turn sulfur into a chemical, apparently. Ah, uh, but I need sulfuric acid to do that. 
So then maybe it's the chemical infuser method? Water vapor is pretty easy. Sulfur trioxide, similar. Sulfur dioxide. Ah, that's not a solution then. Maybe deconcentrating? Oh, possibly? Yeah. I just need two more thermal evaporation chambers. <sighs> and the conversion rate is terrible. But given how much of a pain it was to just get these two, I think I might hold out for a bit. <laughs> this is escalating further than I thought it would, so I'm gonna have to split this across two videos. Uh, but if I've gone this far to get fluorite, I may as well finish making these machines. Because I don't think they're gonna be that big of a deal. I need a lot of refined obsidian, a bunch of control circuits, another dimensional machine frame, and a couple other smaller things. But I think I can manage that. It's just gonna take a while for me to convert the diamonds. <laughs> okay, that was possibly the largest simultaneous crafting of all of these various items. All of these diamond-based items. But I've done it now. Oh, these ultimate control circuits are so expensive. So there, that should be all of the hard stuff that I've already done before. So then if I grab some spare dimensional ore, I can get that chemical dissolution chamber. Then I've already got enough spare for the chemical crystallizer. And then without too much more effort, I can get that chemical washer. Right. So, I nearly have all the things that I need for this ore processing. If I take this all the way through, I should end up with a bunch of the crystals. And while I technically have all the machines now, because I can include these that I've been using manually, I still haven't completed the way to get all the fluids to actually let these work. So that's what I'll do next video. I need to get sulfuric acid. Yeah, purifying water is not that bad, but I need very large quantities of it. The crystallizer is fine. Then I need hydrogen chloride. I'll probably automate the oxygen. Have that work passively. And I'll probably make some spare machines so that I can just do the rest of this process in one go. Although the final enriching from the dust into the diamond, that I'll still leave manual. Because not every ore wants to be done that way. In fact, some of the basic ores can't even go into the enrichment chamber. So, the hard part's done. I just need to do the rest of this next time. Because I have completely run out of time to record. And probably run out of time in the video as well. This was a much more involved process than I thought it would be going into it. I knew it was going to be rough and probably take an entire episode, but too many complications came up along the way. But I'm fairly confident that next time I can set something up to passively produce diamonds for me using the dimensional ore extractor. Or whatever ore I want for that matter. The two I've earmarked right now are diamonds and redstone, because they're the hardest to do. Otherwise, maybe lapis as well? But lapis isn't nearly as useful as the other two. And I don't think I'm going to bother with these metals, because I've already automated those. I probably could have just thrown charcoal into a melter and passived that to get diamonds. And I probably should have done it <laughs> before working on all of this. But once this is finished, I won't have to worry about making diamonds ever again. I just chuck the ore in a machine and it does it. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else good left to say, so I'm going to call the video here. Bye!